all of that creativity around this situation which led mm. to this photograph was about you. So, Lisa, why did your charity decide to fight a battle with the photographer responsible, ultimately, for the photograph? Why fight it on behalf of an animal who couldn't care less? Well, a, a couple things here. First of all, I think it's important to point out that uh, U.S. copyright law is quite clear on this point. It doesn't matter who owns the camera or who owns the smartphone. It's the individual who presses the button who maintains that copyright. That applies to human beings. Uh, there's actually nothing in the law that specifies the species. How can a monkey possibly have any desire for copyright over a picture when he's been handed a camera by a human being? Explain to me. Well, here's the thing, and we've reached a settlement, PETA and David have, and one that we're both quite happy about, uh, because as part of the settlement, uh, a portion of future proceeds mm. of the image will go to protect Naruto and But his he was community. giving these monkeys the most extraordinary global attention mm. yeah, through the absolutely. brilliant creativity of his photographs. Their numbers are dwindling. They've decreased by 90%. He brought global attention to it through his pictures. Your rewards for him destroyed. doing this was to try and destroy him. And now, uh, and now they will receive, they will receive, and they will benefit from this copyright. Have you told Naruto the good news? Uh, I, I, you know, honestly, well, you're I don't laughing, know. But you're, you were representing Naruto, um, right? Have you told Naruto the good news that he won the copyright action? I personally have not. Has anybody from Pizza told Naruto the good news? I can say that he will most certainly benefit from the process. But has he been told the good news that he got copyright? Uh, you know what? I honestly do not know. Do you, you don't know. So you fight a whole legal English. battle. Uh, Why not? <laughs> Although we're laughing, it's a serious point because yeah. you cause this guy huge mm. financial hardship. What I want to know is, you fought this battle on behalf of a monkey, right? Does the monkey now know what's happened? Has anybody had that conversation with the monkey? Because you're treating the monkey like a mm. human being. So have you gone up to him and gone... <laughs> And does he understand that no. means we fought a lengthy, very expensive battle because we've got nothing better to do all day? Uh, like I said, we don't speak monkey. The monkey doesn't speak English. So how does English. he know what happened then? Uh, but he will benefit from this copyright. He was benefiting anyway from the global attention this brilliant photographer brought with his brilliant images. Why did you not need to poke your noses in and try and destroy mm. this guy mm. when he was already doing a valuable job for these animals? I don't get it. Seems Here's like the most senseless the waste of time um, in history. This case, had it been successful, would have been the first time that an animal would have been granted the, an owner of property, rather than being seen as a piece of property. That's how the law, that's how much of society currently sees animals as things. And so all we're asking is that maybe animals should own property. I'm not talking about condos. What do you mean? Houses, cars? I'm not talking about condos. I'm not talking about condos. The roots are going to be driving a Ferrari around? I am it, talking or? about owning their natural habitats, because of course they have as much do right Lisa, to Lisa, with the do. greatest of respect, Peter does a lot of good things, right? Thank I've, you. I've covered a lot of stuff with Peter over the years. A lot of it, it I stands completely for support. people for the ethical treatment of animals. Right, just and a lot of people, people would know. agree with a lot of the stuff that you do. When you do something like this, it's so ridiculous mm -hmm. that even as you're saying it, you can't stop laughing because it's so ridiculous. But it's actually not a laughing matter for this guy, who's a brilliant photographer, who immersed mm -hmm. himself in this world, who showed the world these monkeys. And we've well, always maintained that win or lose, this case really pushes the envelopes, it pushes the bounds oh, of how society views animals. Oh, what a load of nonsense, Even if you're saying animals, this, you don't mean this. You know, it's a, you know it sounds ridiculous. Uh, we, we see animals, society and the law sees animals as things. Uh, and that means that right now it's perfectly acceptable to force feed pesticides to dogs in labs, that's to whip to lions do with this. in the circus, and all of these horrible if things will continue were, so the, long as animals are seen as property. If you were battling that kind of thing, we'd all be supporting you, of course we would. But you're battling for the right of a monkey to have copyright over a picture that he set up with his camera holding his tripod it is a complete waste of everybody's time.